Birmingham is now known as a new foodie city and moms just don't have time to cook. So if you're looking for some local down home Southern cuisine, then pull up a chair for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. That's right, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes us to some of the best places to eat in Birmingham and its surrounding cities. So whether you're on 2059 East or West or 65 North or South or 459 or somewhere in between, Dining Out with Comedian Joy is about to tempt your tummy and make those taste buds water. So if you like your meat three in a brick and mortar or in a gas station, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes you to some of the best spots in town. This week's Dining Out with Comedian Joy is brought to you by... We need to make an appointment to see the doctor today. Not today? Oh, when is he available? Thursday next week? Yes, I know. The doctor is very busy. I guess Thursday will work. Do you have a morning appointment? We have ballet. I'll take it. Enough with the healthcare waiting game. At American Family Care, you'll be seen on your schedule, not ours. Walk in seven days a week and be seen for a fraction of the cost and wait time. AFC, American Family Care, the right care right now. All right, everybody, if this doesn't get your toes tapping, then check your pulse. Now, most people like Chinese food, and when you do order Chinese, you normally get traditional dishes like shrimp fried rice, Mongolian beef, and one of my favorites, orange chicken, or maybe sesame chicken. But did you know that those dishes are considered American Chinese food? But when you come here to Black Pearl Asian Cuisine over here on Lakeshore Parkway, guess what? They serve authentic, traditional Chinese food. Now here's a tip when you are eating traditional Chinese food, everything is flavorful, but it's a little bit spicy. Black Pearl Asian Cuisine has opened another location, this time on Lakeshore Parkway in Birmingham, Alabama. This spot features more of a citron style, which is spicy, whereas the Colonnade location serves more of Hong Kong cuisine. Our first meal we're making is Szechuan Grill Ho Fish which is cooked with this type of African tilapia. The Asian culture cooks their fish whole, but the inside is clean, although it's still cooked with the hat on. The fish is then fried for about six minutes while the base ingredients are being prepared. Now, some of those ingredients include mushrooms, onions, peppers, and chili paste, with some other vegetables that's similar to what we call potatoes and ham. The fish is then taken out of the grease and topped with the cooked vegetable base, and then they're gonna serve it in what Asians call hot plate. All right. Seven. Okay, do you need chopsticks or software? Well, I'm gonna go with the software because I'm not good at this, but okay. maybe later you can show me how to use chopsticks. Yes, ma'am, please, enjoy it. Very the fish meat first. Fish meat first, okay. Yes. So for that, since I'm gonna try the hot plate and eat the fish, fish meat first, I'm gonna use my fork for that. It is just so flaky, it's kinda hard to pick it up. Okay, listen, for real, I love fried fish and I'm used to seeing meal on it, but this really is good. Now I like all the spices that was in there, so I gotta use my spoon for that. Oh, that's spicy, that's spicy. I don't feel the kick in there. It's not that spicy, it's gonna <laughs> keep up on the flavor. This is so good, you gotta try this traditional Chinese food here at Black Pearl Asian Cuisine. It is so good. All right, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna go over here, as you can see, I have the mushroom. Cause I don't want to eat Eric, he said it's spicy. But everything is so flavorful. I just love the way the spices come together. And so far, it's not that hot. Y'all need to try it. It is so good. I love fresh seafood, and I was super excited when I got to try this citron whole shrimp. There's some salt, peppers, uh, 
red peppers, uh, black bean sauce, and um, uh, ground pork. Look at this, these babies are huge! They're gorgeous! They're fried with all these spices on them. Hey, I got a hair with them. Hey, baby, I gotta pull my hair off. See, you gotta be from the port city so you can know how to peel this baby back. Oh my god, this is so good. It's well seasoned and I can tell that this is a fresh gulf shrimp. I'm telling you, Black Pearl, y'all got it going on. Do you need some gut busting laughter that you, your kids, and your pastor can listen to and enjoy? We get Comedian Joy, the Queen of Queens' newest DVD live at the Stardome. But y'all, one of, but y'all, one of my favorite all-time televangelists is Joe Osteen. Anybody like Brother Joe? Y'all miss some Joe Osteen. I'm telling you, every time I listen to Joe, I feel like I can speed and hoover and won't even get a ticket. If you are married, if you're single, even if you're looking for love, Comedian Joy has some tips for you. If you go to church, she's talking about it. All of us know Jesus was the only person who walked the earth and didn't sin. But I figured it out. Say, why, Joy? Because he wasn't married and didn't have kids. Don't you know them two combinations make you want to sin? Buy your copy of Live at the Stardom now at www.joythequeenofclean.com. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's great. Oh, shit. Marriage would be great if they didn't have stuff in your vows like to death do your part, wouldn't it? Don't you want your vows to be like till you get on my last nerves? Because it's precocious. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's precocious. So up next on the menu was this sweet pickle braised pork belly. It's pork that you eat between the type of bread that's made of rice. Is this a biscuit? Uh-huh. Something like that. Okay. Chinese biscuit. Chinese biscuit. Let me get two pieces. Can I put some gravy on it? Put some gravy and Yeah, we need some gravy. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> it goes to pork belly. Good. I'm trying for dough. There's two holes. <laughs> oh, I've got that flat in here. What my mouth? Oh, yeah, look at your biscuit. You got a good biscuit. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how to do it. So when you come here to ask the Black Pearl, you gotta let Eric make your biscuit over here. Pick yes, the pork belly. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. Mm. It tastes this. It's good. So what do you think of the belly, Melvin? The belly's good in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Finally, I want to introduce you to a traditional Chinese dish that's called okay. hot pot. It's similar to fondue, where you can add these meats and vegetables. You can cook it spicy or mild, and it's served best with friends. Put uh, spicy soup or not spicy soup in the uh, chilled hot pot, and uh, we put uh, fish fillet, uh, lamb, beef, vegetable, everything you like it. Just put it in the pot. This ham, that's fish fillet, lamb. Chinese, actually it's Chinese Spanish. Okay, so the hot pot is ready when everything is boiling and then all you have to do is just get your scooper and scoop out a portion of some of the food that you like. So I have some vegetables here. I love it. I love the family style and how we're all sitting here and um, pretty much everybody I just met tonight, but it's been really fun to get to know everybody. Yes. My bowl of rice and uh, potato. And there is some, uh, did you call it spam? Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's actually spam, but it's more like a ham. Oh. And I also have, what else do I have? I have some of the fish. And everything is wonderful. It's wonderful. I am stuck. I think I tried a little bit of everything. I did the spicy, which spicy is really spicy. If you love spices, this is the place to go. 
Um, and then I tried the, the, the natural, the original, and it was all good. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm really saying the food just tastes good, and I spent time in Japan. This is really good. It's really authentic. Way to go, comedian Joy. Black Pearl Asian cuisine also serves American style Chinese food as well as other delicious meals for those who may be allergic to seafood. The entertainment blog is finna eat some beef. You know, I like this. Me personally, I'm allergic to seafood, but in this restaurant, they were so kind enough to even bring me something that even I can eat. And I like the design, it's, it gives you a. I smell it from over here. It smells really good. It smells like something my mama would cook, you know? <laughs> my, my, my Asian mama would cook, you know? I like Your it. what? My Asian mama. So when you want some traditional Chinese food, Black Pearl Asian cuisine is definitely the place that you want to be. You can come and eat amongst friends like I did today and have a good time over a delicious meal. We look forward to seeing you here again. Black Pearl Asian Cuisine is open for lunch and dinner. They're located at 180 State Farm Parkway in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm Eric Guster. People ask me all the time what their case is really worth. The insurance company said my dad's car accident was worth almost nothing, but Eric Guster got us $2 million. Their case is often worth a lot more than the insurance company says. I didn't know my truck case was worth $600,000, but attorney Eric Guster did. That's why it's important to call to find out what your case is really worth. Guster Law, 205-581-9777. Now, if you're driving between Tuscaloosa and Bessemer and you want some breakfast, there's only one place you gotta stop at, and that's Jan J Grocery and Deli. Hi, I'm Allison, the owner of J J Grocery, and this is my crew. Come see us at the home of good burgers and good friends. We're just trying to get get a biscuit. Customers look forward to rising up every morning to have some breakfast at J J Deli. It's not just the delicious food there, but also the family-friendly atmosphere that the gas station chain serves up every day. Usually just breakfast sandwiches, like bacon, egg and cheese, a ham, egg and cheese, because they mostly are workers and they're on the run, so they'll run in here and grab a sandwich and take off. So. Five o'clock, start cooking sausage, bacon, eggs, getting ready, biscuits, we cook biscuits. J&J &J also serves up breakfast favorites like omelets and fried eggs and round bacon. This is it. It's the best breakfast in town. What do you normally get when you come here for breakfast? This right here. Same thing? Pretty much the same thing. You got the meat in there? Ah. Uh, there's egg and tomato. Fried egg and bacon and cheese. I give it two wheels. Now check out how J and J takes your order. They write it down on a brown paper bag. Because we're not like a computerized fast food restaurant or anything. We just write it on the sack. Sometimes the sacks get kind of greasy looking. <laughs> uh, we'll use the same sack uh, times two or three times. Might have two or three orders on it. I was super excited to try the BLT made with some jalapeno bacon. I'm adding pepper to your BLT. And I'm waiting on your toast, and then I'll put your pepper and your, and your bacon on. You like light, mayonnaise, bacon, heavy? Oh, um, my. I try to fix it like I would eat a sandwich. Most of them say, well, that's the way I want it. Bacon, jalapeno, BLT, and I know you're really going to enjoy it. I'm having a BLT with jalapeno bacon. This is cool. I got some good company. 
Now, have you had one of these before? Oh, yes. This man. Now, is, is the bacon hot? Yes. Uh, it's hot, 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 now they gonna set my hand on fire. No, no man. Let this be delicious. All right. There you go. Yeah. You know what? It's real good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my hand. Oh my goodness. Now I feel like you sitting here all day. Man, this is so good. I like the way the flavors in here. And you know what? The bacon, it's not, I can, I can feel the kick in. Right, right. But it has an excellent flavor. Best BLT I've ever had. Now I can taste some of the spices in this bacon, but I'm telling you, it is phenomenal. My mouth is saying, "Woohoo!" All right. Hey, but I got my water to wash it down with. I'm trying to tell you. And up next, we're still on the gas station trail looking for the best eats in Alabama. This time, we're in the Bessemer McCauley area at J and J Grocery in Delhi, where they were voted number two in Alabama for the best burger. When we talk about racism, that we all have a little bit inside of us. You can love it, you can hate it. You can bet your bottom dollar, man. We're going to debate today. Let's get ready to go. The discrimination. Now, I get the example of my mom. The Joe Show is the hottest radio talk show on Saturday evenings with Melva Tate, comedian Joy, Uncle Boss, Andre J. Thomas, and the king of infotainment, Joe Lockett. America, you don't want to miss this. Lock it in, 4 to 7, Saturday evenings, WYDE 101.1. And Joe, I just appreciate your show. I appreciate you bringing up these hard to discuss issues, but they do need to be discussed. Well, thank you so and much, people, Caroline. And people do need to remember that black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. 47, Saturday evenings, WYDE. When you need to fill up your car and fill up your stomach at the same time, there's no place to go in the best Mamacola area than my friends at J, &J Grocery and Deli. If you're in search of a good burger, you need to detour off of exit 1 on 459 to J, &J Deli and Grocery. It's off the beaten path, but your nose would definitely lead the way. Uh, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato, pickles, and onions. Nothing special, no secret sauce. Zone and uh, we kind of get them some cooked, kind of cooked, so when they come in, they don't have to wait in a minute. Hopefully, for the burgers, we try to be fast as we can. Sometimes we get back up, got a lot of people come in, and we go ahead and we toast our buns. So nothing's better with a cheeseburger and a toasted bun. Okay, with this all, black right. pepper, yes. That's about the only seasoning it gets. So, I mean, it's the grill, so I think the grill's just seasoned. It's been used so long that it's the grill. So I probably couldn't cook burgers like this at home. Now this is how the burgers are made at J&J &J Deli. You can get a perfect patty after it's been flattened with a coffee can top. Next on Sunday. What you want this Sunday? That's for last. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it keeps us really consistent. You know, we're, we're, ha we're having a shortage of coffee can tops. <laughs> so we might need some if it's like interested. So this should be called coffee lid burgers. What you think? <laughs> This is what we start out with every day. Ten pounds of pure, one hundred percent beef. This is my fifth ten pound roll. Wait, your fifth? Yes. Ten pound roll since nine o'clock. Wow. And when you hear this song at J and J Deli, that only means one thing: lunchtime. It's all about that song. About that song. No pepper. <laughs> Three separate orders. Everybody loves it. This is the best. Couldn't even finish it. What a big man like you couldn't finish that burger. It was a big one. She tried to finish hers too. Wait a minute, sir. Hold up. You cheated. You got cheese fries. Yes, ma'am. How come you ain't tell nobody about the cheese fries? You didn't ask. I'm sorry. Is this what you normally get when you come here? Yes, ma'am. That's usually a burger. Bye, Barry. How was the chicken livers? They're good. Yeah, great. And now it's my turn to get my order so I can be like everybody else here at J&J &J Deli. Cheers. All right, this is Joy's order. Hey. Okay. That's the deluxe burger. Okay. 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 Okay.
and she's gonna be eating Lux, right? bacon, cheeseburger, cheeseburger all, all the way with fries. Or here. Or here. So, yeah, let me get a fry. Hey, I'll give you one of my fries for my order cook. Here is your deluxe bacon cheeseburger all the way with fries. And I know you're gonna enjoy it. Oh, I believe it. Now look, see, oh, what's your name? Tanner. Tanner, now since I took one of your fries here, we will give you one another thing. In fact, you get another since you gave me one of yours. Now look, I'm gonna try to be like Tanner. He's coming here on a regular basis and get this delicious big old burger right here. So look, that will make me some friends in here, hanging out here with Tanner, eating this big old burger. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? This is a good burger. Yes, hey, sure, it's just delicious. Man, I'm telling you, J&J Dillis, hey, I think it's so good that you should spank it. Remember how she made that burger when she spanked it? That's how come the burger's so good. Well, you're never too young to start eating burgers at J&J Deli. Hmm, I wonder if he'll let me have his leftovers. I'm Eric Guster. People ask me all the time what their case is really worth. The insurance company said my dad's car accident was worth almost nothing, but Eric Guster got us $2 million. Their case is often worth a lot more than the insurance company says. I didn't know my truck case was worth $600,000, but attorney Eric Guster did. That's why it's important to call to find out what your case is really worth. Guster Law, 205-581-9777. The warrior spirit, it's in there, always has been. Now let it out and take the world by fire. Train well and learn what it means to be a Troy Trojan. Walk with confidence, conquer, claim territory and climb ladders. Know that you have the power to stand alone with the comfort of knowing that you'll never have to. Discover your inner warrior. Find it at troy.edu slash spirit. restaurant uses these in their banana pudding. And now I'm talking about the vanilla wafers from none other than Bud's Best Cookies. So I want you to go with me as I take a ride on the cookie train inside of Bud's Best Cookies. Why? Because they're made right here in Alabama. Bud's Best Cookies are bite size. Just the right size. Freshly made in Birmingham. Bud's Best Cookies are bite size. Just the right size. They're the pride of Alabama. Aubrey Pierce is not only a great singer, but he's my tour guide of the little cookie with the big taste at Bud's Best Cookies. Owner Bud Casey knew as a child he wanted to make cookies, and in 1993, his dream became a reality. Now he produces more than one million cookies a minute in these 160 feet long ovens. But before these tasty treats get here on the conveyor belt, the right formulas have to be mixed with these base ingredients. That also includes this cream base that's used for each batch. They're later punched out and placed on this conveyor belt. But check out the cooling process with these large fans, which spreads the sweet aroma of macaroons across the plant. Bud not only makes his line of cookies, but also for Uncle Al, Kroger Valley, and Aldi Grants. The facility is nestled in Hoover, Alabama, which currently employs 160 employees who work through 12-hour shifts Monday through Thursday. The cookies are packaged based off of orders and store locations, and although the manpower is very important to Bud's Best Cookie brands getting out to consumers, Lucy and Ethel, they are also a critical part of the team.
You see this warehouse is full of cookies now, but they won't stay here very long before being shipped all over the world to Korea, Japan, China, and of course the U.S. You see these familiar brands at Walmart, Piggly Wiggly, and convenience stores, and this cookie right here is my old school favorite. Now these stage plays from Buzz Best Cookies really took me back to being a kid again. I felt like a kid in a cookie store when I saw them in there. And guess what? I just had to come out and relive some of my childhood memories with one of my favorite cookies from Buzz Best Cookies. Mmm, mmm. Now if you see something out in the convenience store and you want to buy me some, go ahead. Give me a couple packs. I love every flavor. Woo! This is everyone's favorite, the vanilla wafer, which many Birmingham restaurants use in their banana pudding recipe. Bud's Best Cookies give tours in the winter. I wonder if they will let me drive the train. Hope you enjoyed your time on the train ride here at Bud's Best Cookies. And like they say, life is so much delicious when you have a Bud's Best Cookie. It's the little cookie with the big taste. This week's Dining Out with Comedian Joy is brought to you by... Hey, hey, hon, would you say it's more circular or spiral? Because if it's, it's spiral, it's serious, but uh, only if it's spiral with red dots. It's definitely spiral, but I'd say it's more bumps than dots. Uh, spiral with bumps. Oh! Enough with the internet diagnosis. At American Family Care, you can see our experienced physicians for anything from bumps or breaks to a case of the flu for a fraction of the cost and wait time. AFC, American Family Care, the right care right now. All right, everybody, if this doesn't get your toes tapping, then check your pulse. Ba -ba 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 -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. The joy of cola. you have enjoyed this week's edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Now if you have a restaurant or make a food product and you would like to be featured, all you have to do is go to my blog that's diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com and click on collaborate with me. Now for the rest of you all, I would love for you to follow me on social media that's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Comedian Joy. In fact, if you keep up with me, you can find out where I'm going to be eating next and maybe you too can be featured on a new edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. I look forward to seeing you next week and you know what the food that I bring you is so good and make you want to lay down These are the best fried Oreos in Birmingham Love the chocolate love all the desserts here in Burger Pie. You gotta check them out. They're right here on the Dog. There's a lot of junk on this.